trip to Gonda. The total straight line distance between Addis Ababa and Gonda is 427 km, kilometers, and 400 meters. The miles based distance from Addis Ababa to Gonda is 265.6 miles. This is a straight line distance and so most of the time the actual travel distance between Addis Ababa and Gonda may be higher or vary due to curvature of the road. The driving distance or the travel distance between Addis Ababa to Gonda is 730 km and 904 m. The mile based road distance between these two travel points is 454.2 miles. Gonda is a city and warder in Amara region, Ethiopia. Located in the Semian Gonda zone of the Amara region, Gonda is north of Tana Lake on the Lesser Angareb River and southwest of the Simeon Mountains. Gonda traditionally was divided into several neighborhoods or quarters, Addis Alam, where the Muslim inhabitants dwelled, Kalamida, where the adherents of Beta Israel lived, Abun Bet, centered on the residents of the Abuna or nominal head of the Ethiopian church, and Kagnbet, home to the nobility. The modern city of Gonda is admired for its many picturesque ruins in the royal enclosure, from which the emperors once reigned. The most famous buildings in the city lie in the royal enclosure, which includes Faisalides Castle, Iasu's Palace, Dawit's Hall, a banqueting hall, stables, Mentuab's Castle, a chancellery, library and three churches. Downtown Gonda shows the influence of the Italian occupation of the late 1930s. The main piazza features shops and other public buildings in a simplified Italian contemporary style still characterized by the period despite later changes and, frequently, neglect Gonda was the capital of Ethiopia from 1632 to 1855 and it has the remains of castles and palaces constructed by a series of emperors from Faisalites, reigned 1632-67, to Yasutu, 1730-55. The ruins of these structures stand within a walled imperial enclosure. The most important buildings are the castle of Faisalites and the palace of Yasu the Great reigned 1682-1706. The architectural style of these stone buildings displays a prominent Portuguese influence, along with connections to the Aksumite Empire's palaces and the mosques of South Arabia. Only a few of the 44 churches reputed to have existed in Gonda in the 18th century survive but the city is still an important center of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, its beautifully decorated 17th-century Deborah Buran Silasi Church is still in use. Gonda suffered greatly during the period of the Civil Wars, 1750-1890, in Ethiopia, but, after the British conquest of the Sudan, 1899, the town resumed its trade with the Blue Nile region. The city's inhabitants are mainly Christians, but some Muslims live in the locality. The 900m long battlement wall of the palace's compound with turrets, 12 gates and 3 bridges protected the different castles, palaces and churches as they were added by the different royalties over time. Today one finds within the premises of this curtain wall, Faisalides Castle, or Enkilal Gem, Egg Castle for its egg-shaped domed roofs on the towers, Dash, Iasu's Castle, Dawit's Hall, Bekafa's Banqueting Hall, Stables, Asauna, Mentuab's Castle, the Library and Chancellery of Johansi as well as the Azasane Kedjus Mikhail Church, Elfinger Georgis Church and Jemjabat Mariam Church. Depending on the building, the architectural designs reflect Arabian, Indian, and Baroque influences in addition to Ethiopian Axumite and Lake Tana styles and architectural traditions. With their curtain walls, huge castles with looming battlement walls and towers, Faisal Gebi and Kuskyum seems like a piece of medieval Europe transplanted into Ethiopia. 
the establishment of the historical city of Gonda in northern Ethiopia around 1636 signaled the end of the medieval tradition of roving capitals. Emperor Faisaladas, a 1625-1660, may have chosen Gonda as his seat of government for its strategic placement and fertile lands. After its decline in the 19th century, the city of Gonda continued to be a commercial and transport hub for northwest Ethiopia. With a population of more than 200,000 inhabitants, Gonda is growing rapidly due to fast urbanization, like all other cities in Ethiopia. The majority of the inhabitants of Gonda are Ethiopian Orthodox Christians. 2% Muslims and 1.5% Protestants. The Ethiopian Jews have been airlifted to Israel in the early 1990s. The city is home to the University of Gonda, which includes Ethiopia's principal faculty of medicine. The city is serviced daily by Ethiopian airlines with flights connecting to Addis Ababa, Baradiar and Aksum. Although Gonda is a trade center for grains, oil seeds, and cattle, the economy of the surrounding area is basically one of subsistence farming. Gonda's craftsmen produce textiles, jewelry, copperware, and leather work. The city is a significant highway junction and is served by an airport. The modern hospital has an attached medical university, training staff for rural clinics. Pop. 2007 Prelim. 206,987 Thank you for watching my next video is coming soon.